Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and today I just want to do a quick video on how do you get rid of that ABC in a worksheet in Tableau if it shows up and, and you don't want it to be there, right? So you may have come across this situation before where you have this worksheet, you have some dimensions on the row shelf, and then what the heck is going on over here? We've got this ABC column. So first, let's just briefly talk about why this is happening. Um, so your mark type is set to text and basically Tableau is using this as a placeholder to tell you, hey, there's no measure in here yet. Uh, but maybe you don't plan to add a measure, right? Sometimes you just have a table with some dimensions in it, maybe to look up customers or students or something of that nature. So a couple thoughts. Um, one is just to change the mark type. If you want squares instead, you can do that. Or uh, something that somebody mentioned to me recently, you could do a polygon. Um, However, you still have this kind of awkward gap here. So what I usually do, or at least my old school way of doing this, is, is a couple things. Um, so I will just turn the opacity of my mark type down to zero. Click on the color tab in the marks card, go to the opacity slider, take that all the way down to zero. And now my user doesn't need to see this here. So what I was thinking we could do a couple things. First, I'm going to right click in the background of my worksheet somewhere in one of those ABCs, um, select format. And then I'm going to go to, let me think about where I'd want this. I think it's going to be in the fourth icon here, borders, turn column dividers to none. Okay, so now I still have this awkward gap here, but the column dividers are turned off. And then finally, I was trying to remember if you pull, okay, I did it backwards. Instead of pulling from the left side of the column, if you pull from the right side of the column and just drag this all the way over, uh, it's basically as if it's not there anymore. You can get pretty close and your user basically, like they'd have to get their cursor in that one little pixel to even know that there was some like weird blank going on. So I hope that's helpful to you. Just a quick little tip. Um, and we'll look forward to catching you here on the One Number YouTube channel again sometime soon. Thanks.